Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So it's a nice rainy day here, so I decided to try to get some work done in the shop. I'll uh, show you what I'm working on. Thanks for watching. Alright, so today I'm working on my windshield wiper motor. Uh, this is a replacement. The one I have in the car is not working. I figured since it was raining, it'd be a good idea to work on the windshield wipers. But uh, so what I'm doing here is I got a variety of tools. I got some picks and some brushes and some some cleaner. And I'm just trying to get as much dirt off this thing as I can. Just make it look good. I'm not worried about making it look new. Uh, I am trying to be careful around these wires. There's a few like this right here that the insulation's worn off. I'm gonna try to get a piece of heat shrink over that. But I'm just trying to be real careful not to break down these wires. So, but just going to go around here and get all this dirt and build up grease and stuff off. You can see a bunch of grease down here. I'm just going to scrub all this off. Uh, I'm not going to do this on camera because it's, it's kind of monotonous to watch somebody clean. But uh, I'll give you uh, updates as I get it clean. I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoy it. Alrighty, so we're getting some progress done. Starting to get it cleaned up. It looks pretty good now. It was pretty dirty. I mean, it's not perfect, but like I said, I'm not trying to get it perfect. Just trying to get it to look good. Or halfway decent. There's a little bit of staining right there, but I ain't worried about it. So, uh, got the uh, ground strip polished up. Now, the next thing to do, I gotta clean this bench off where all this dirt and grease is from off of this thing. But, uh, the pigtail on this had been cut so i took the one out of the out of the car and i got a splice into it so i'm gonna take and strip this up i'm gonna try to keep it the same length maybe maybe a little longer just to be safe and uh, i'll probably cut it off right there and then get it stripped down and get it spliced in i've got some uh, i'm gonna do some connections and some heat sh uh heat shrink and we'll get it connected in real good all right, let's get started on it. All right, so I got it all spliced up. I just gotta get my heat shrink on there and then put the insulation back on. Making progress. All right, so the heat shrink is on there. Now I'm gonna wrap as much of this old insulation as I can back and get it in there nice and neat. And then I'll tape it up. All right, I gotta put it all back together. I got the splice made there's my pigtail i got uh the ground strip back on i'm gonna put a washer on the back side of this i know it grounds on the case but i'm gonna put something here just to get a little extra contact with the bolt and uh should be good we'll get it put in the car real quick all right so it's all installed now I got everything hooked up. I got to hook the battery back up and I guess it's the moment of truth. We'll go in there and go in there and try it out. I don't have the, uh... oh crap, I forgot something. I forgot to put, uh... well, we'll try it out first. Uh, I forgot to put the, the arm for the, uh, pivot back on that one because this one didn't have one it was i gotta take the old one off but we'll try it out before we get out of that trouble it works that uh i gotta take this all back out because i forgot to put that arm on i don't think i wanted to try to do it in here so let's take it back out we know it works now so that's a good thing i can't believe i forgot to put that arm on there no, no big deal. We'll just three bolts, take it back off, and we know it works. So that's that's all that matters. All right, let's take it back off. All right, so that's the arm I was talking about. We got to take off. That's what attaches to the uh, the wiper arm assembly that rotates and it moves the thing back and forth. The uh, wiper pivots. I forgot to take that off, so it's got to go right here. So it's just a three eighths wrench. We'll pop it off real quick, get it put on, get it put back in the car. All right, so got everything put back together. Got the arm put on there. And as you can see, 
it still works. Now comes the daunting task of getting this thing, this uh, arm reattached. Last time it was a pain in the butt because this uh, bush in here is press fit and you don't have enough room to get in there to press it in. But we're going to work on that real quick. I'm going to try to get this arm positioned to work. On. About right there. Now I think about the easiest way to get to it is right there. So let's... Uh, I'm going to grab a pair of channel locks and get in here and try to press this thing in. All right, I'm back. So we got it all connected. Let's uh, turn it on and see if it works. It's not popping off yet. Things working. Good deal. Alright, so now I gotta find my wiper blade uh, arms to put up here and get them reattached. I don't have any, uh, I don't have actually any blades, but I got the arms. I'll get here and dig them out and uh, we'll get them installed. Alright, so I got the arms put back on. I gotta get me some blades. But, uh, I'll run to town and get some of them and get them put on. I got, uh, I go ahead and wrap this one up and uh, we'll get some blades put on it. And uh, today's a perfect day for it because it's raining out here. So we'll uh, get to test them out. But we'll go ahead and wrap this video up. I appreciate you watching. I hope to see you next time.